beautiful YouTube world. That was my OJ Simpson impression. Um, probably the wrong audience for it, but you should check out his Twitter. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Welcome to Live Alive. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I still don't know at this point, but I'm really excited to check out this game. I'm honestly, I worked hard to try to do this, man. I got up at 5.30 in the morning because when the game launched, I didn't have enough money in my account to purchase it. And so every week, my paycheck always comes in at like 5.30 a.m. So I got up at 5.30 a.m. And guess what? It didn't come. And so I had to wait like an hour until it finally dropped into my account. And then I bought it and installed it. And then I'm like, okay, let me get this stuff set up. I haven't used the Elgato on the Switch yet. So I was like, cool, let me let me get this set up. Except when you hook up a headset to the Switch, it works the same way as the PlayStation does, in which it will cut off the HDMI audio, meaning that the Elgato can't record the audio anymore. So with PlayStation, there is a workaround in that you can do a second controller and then plug that controller directly into the Elgato and have it go through the analog audio. But with Switch, that isn't an option. So you have to plug a headset directly into the TV if you want to have it go through the headset and not have to filter it out through the mic. I don't know how YouTubers do this shit. I don't. I really don't. So I literally had to go out to Walmart and buy an 8 foot audio like 3.5 millimeter cable because all i had was like a three foot one that's where we're at so i spent a lot of time trying to get this set up i hope you guys enjoy <laughs> because i worked hard on it i'm really excited for this game uh this game was kind of like in between being and not being on my radar it was one of those things i'd heard about i thought the premise was really interesting for those that don't know it is a game from 1994 that never made it out of japan it's a jrpg by square enix and now it's finally being brought over in the hd 2d remake style of like octopath traveler and triangle strategy but essentially it is seven little vignettes uh of stories that are somehow connected who knows we're not sure exactly what's going on there but um throughout different points of history going back from like ancient china all the way to like the the distant future with spacefaring and all this stuff and so you go you do these little these these little chapters i guess with each of these characters when they all have different play styles and you know different things going on in the world and everything and so you know it's, it's up to you to figure out how they all connect together what's going on all that fun stuff so i'm really excited it got really great reviews I'm excited to get into it. I ate a sub because I also got that while I was going to Walmart. But yeah, I got up at 5.30. It is 8 a.m. That's <laughs> how long it took me to get this stuff together. <laughs> but we're good to go. Because I also had to install the game. Um, but yeah, let's have some fun, shall we? This game sucks. I'm gonna be pissed. Nineteen ninety four, twenty twenty two. Hell yeah. Let's go in the settings. I don't think there's really anything that we're gonna need to change. But um Ooh. Should I do Japanese? Hello. Nani? I really thought about it though. All right, let's do a new game. I'm excited. I'm excited to get into this. Like I said, it's got it's got some great reviews, so I'm ready to figure out what this is all about. Okay, so you can do them essentially in any order you want, but 
I would literally go insane if I didn't start at the very beginning and go through the timeline. Like... Oh man, they aren't even in order of the time either. With the Wild West, the near future, the distant future, Twilight of Edo, Japan, Imperial China. So I would assume prehistory is the first one, and then I don't know which came first, Edo, Japan, or Imperial China. I'm gonna guess Imperial China, but I'll just look it up when I get to it. But so yeah, we're going with prehistory. In a forgotten era before kings and kingdoms, a young man comes of age and is given permission by his tribe's stern elder to go forth and hunt together with his best friend, Tori. Barefoot, bare, barefoot, I don't know, for whatever, <laughs> I'm an English major. <laughs> yeah, I was, a spoken words, they rely on their senses to survive, in particular, a powerful sense of smell. Guided by their noses, they track game and find shelter and learn much of the world and its dangers. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> I shall play. <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay, I hope there's a little tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, get into it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I mean, fair enough, my guy. He was making some really good points. <laughs> oh, it's a babe. Oh. <laughs> This feels like a Mario game. <laughs> oh. I'm so confused right now. Sure. It got me feeling some type of way. That's us, right? With Donkey Kong? Pretty dope. Donkey Kong and Manny from Ice Age. God, Manny brought his friends. Manny brought his friends.
So I always, I like to stick with the actual names of the, that it gives me, if it gives me one, so he's going to be Pogo, just so that I know what to call him. Heck yeah, that's Pogo, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot. The radar is located at the bottom right corner of your screen. It can be used to identify the explored areas and guide you to the current objective. Grab to explore area. Grab to explore area. Grab the current objective. Current objective. Okay. The radar can be toggled on and off. Okay. If you wish to quit the current chapter and play a different one, access any of the menu select. If you select chapter you previously played, you play for a resume for your last save. Okay. Let's go, Donkey Kong. Uh -huh. this? I got a stick. Ah, oh, frick yeah. Let's go, Donkey Kong. This is a Switch game, mind you. Who the frick are you? <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Go that way. Okay, I'll go that way. I don't know how open this thing is. Oh, I did it. 
Mm -hmm. Good for him. Fights now. The feral pup. The charge gauge will appear above allies and enemies that are ready to action. Let's get the of the action. When you're controlling up allies, the battle only may change one of several commands. The ability to have pass weight and flee. The ability not to use it. Allies HP is used to be able to fight. State allies, they were further, they would be immediately dismissed from the field. So those characters cannot rejoin the healing. Surprise boo. some bones. <laughs> and I got a hunch of meat. Dip. Did I do what she wanted? <laughs>
my dad. So good. It's giving me Pokemon vibes. Like old Pokemon vibes. Just this era of video games. Just mwah, chef's kiss. We're just going to bed. Yes, so. Long day. Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. Walking. You 
we can see you, right? What? his bone stick his stick In the meat? Yes, I did. <laughs> she do be looking kind of fine. is uh <laughs> infatuated <laughs> uh, so we just knocked his ass out all right can we wait okay we're all good now we got a new party member heck yeah fed her mean she's good to go Yeah. 
Just literally ruining his friend's life so that he can get some. <laughs> man, poor Donkey Kong. My man deserved better. But where'd she go? <laughs> Taking the meat. scavenge for it. And it seems like that's what we gotta do. be completely wrong in this being what we're supposed to do, but don't matter. Oh, 
shoot. Mammoth calf. Who's closest to me? Two. Life. Assuming we have to cook it. Giving it to her and see what happens. I'm kind of a ladies man. Coming after her. We gotta save her. We gotta save her. <laughs> Man, they wiped him out. They're gonna take our mm. elder. Mm. No! Hmm. 
I thought it was going to be a big fight. <laughs> Go, bro? I'll literally take you down, bro. Like, not even kidding, bro. Uh -uh. Get rid of 
get rid of me. Please. Please. Thank God. Alright. I'm cool with that. You, you do that, man. Oh, man! She does not have much health. That's okay, though. Please, please, please. Oh, thank God. That was a little difficult, I gotta be honest. A little difficult. It's a real piece of skill. But we really didn't have many abilities, so. <laughs> yeah, that's right, get out of here. <laughs> oh, do we have to fight him now? Are we all healed up, please? Thank God. I will cow kick the head out of you. Yeah, that's right. Oh, counter? Okay, okay, not bad. What? Oh, okay, bet. Okay, we're doing all right now. Now we actually have heals. I'm cool with this. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you, dude. Okay, that's fair, whatever. Kicky, bro. Kicky! A little kicky, kicky! Ah. I don't even care about doing damage with her. She is my mage. She gonna get. We gonna get everybody hit up. Nah. 
We getting thrown out of the tribe? Well, this is unfortunate. man got some good stuff going on there oh okay there you go oh there's a whole bonus bone yeah no that's right oh I upgraded her to a bone so that's pretty cool Actually, I want to see what poop there is. Okay, so it's it's a, it's a range low attack. Hurt many bad with smelly poop. <laughs> Saved, but I think that is where we are going to leave off for our first episode. I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you did as well. Like, like this video, subscribe if you want to see more. I'm really excited to dig deep into this game. It's been a long time since I played a JRPG to completion. I mean, I want to say it was Final Fantasy 15, maybe. I don't know. Like, it's been a long time since I've actually beaten a JRPG. So, I'm excited to get into it and play more and just have a great time. And hopefully you guys are too. But, I'll see you guys next time for some more Live Alive. Live a live, live alive. Whatever the heck it is. Stay tuned for more of it. Alright, see ya.